Welcome to Tonks and Tales. We're at Unicorn in Nottingham, and I've got a couple of gentlemen here heavily involved in the coaching of dark players. Uh, starting off with you, Bob, who would perhaps uh, deal with the more mature player, would you say? I think that's a pretty good way of putting it. Established players from all walks of darts, from, from the lowest leagues right through to seasoned guys who've been playing on, on tour for a while. Yeah. They would come to me with perhaps a specific problem that they might think I can uh, help them out with. I can look at them from a distance with an experienced eye and mm. rather like a golf pro will look at his student and say, well, I think you're doing this wrong and it might only be a very minor adjustment, but it makes a big difference to yeah. the delivery of the darts. That's it. And the difference between winning a leg or winning a set, of course, a millimetre in one slight change makes it, like you say, makes Absolutely. all the difference. Yep. Yeah. And Jamie, uh, recently opened, of course, the Jamie Cave and Darts Academy. The youngsters, what, what sort of age uh, are they coming to you at? Um, we start from 6 to 16, or I think it might be 18 even. Yeah. Um, and basically, it's, it's like if you've never thrown a dart before and you're interested, because obviously the game's so popular now and mm. it's as, as popular as ever, really. Uh, they're not bothered with football so much nowadays. Mm. They want to be dart players. So, yeah. you know, they come in and they've never thrown a dart, so we'll start little kids off or, or bigger kids, you know, and they all follow the same routine. Yeah, uh, They've all got a structure that they have to keep to. Um, and there's some that will probably come in and stand with the wrong foot forward to the throwing yeah. on, you know. So we, we sort of try and, you know, set them so they can, they've got everything right, so their attributes are right and they can stand right and throw right. And, you know, it goes from there, really. We try and develop them as much as we can. They all have fun with it. They all, you know, they all love coming every week. They're all good friends. The parents are friends. So that starts them off. And then I think Bob probably does when they've developed, you know. And yeah. I, I suppose that's the way that would work. Yeah. And, uh, and of course, they, they learn to count, which, are, uh, which, which is, is fab for the maths yeah. and stuff. Yeah, exactly. And of course, uh, they said you see the, the heroes like on on the telly. And of course, there's the the unicorn uh, youth tour. And of course, the, the unicorn world, world youth championship as well. So, so unicorn are heavily involved uh, in, in that. It's, it's a great great way to start off, isn't it? Yeah, of course. I mean, unicorn obviously are, are well back. They back our academy very well. Mm. Uh, they've got their own other ones as well in Andover and Petersfield and various other bit, bits and bobs, but the future is great for, for youth um, dark players, and thanks to Unicorn, really, because that's where it's heavily yeah. supported. Well, that's great. Well, Jamie, thank you for your time. Thank you, Bob. My name is Paul Starr, in association with Unicorn, that was Tonks and Tells, giving you the sharp end of world darts. Thanks for joining us.